Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to quickly cover a uh, setup for an Alpha 250Q from Gardner. This is not a new machine. This has been on the market for a long time. As a matter of fact, you might have trouble finding it. But uh, one of my viewers asked, how do I set this up? Well, it is really very, very simple. And I'm not going to go into details here. I'm just going to go in the basics. Um, this does have a GR18 Graupner receiver on here for multi-copters. So it's uh, multi-copter configured. And uh, the rest is just standard. There's nothing fancy on here. I don't have GPS or anything else configured on it. And of course, I'm going to use my GR32 to control it here. Um, so uh, let's... Go ahead and set that up. Okay, and we'll turn on RF. I'm not gonna go into binding. I have a, uh, a video. Setting up the quad is very, very easy. There's really not much to it. Um, although the documentation can be a little bit <clears throat> not helpful when it comes to that. So the first thing we wanna do is go into telemetry. And in telemetry, you, I'm going to go and talk to the actual receiver now. So you need to make sure your receiver is enabled. And we'll just go and go all the way to the right. And that takes us to the gyro assignment setup. This is how or where you tell your receiver, that GR18 on the quadcopter, which way is forward, which way is right, etc., etc. This is what this setup does. And it's very simple. You just go and do the setup, say yes. And once you've done that, you now go and move your stakes on your radio. So in this case, I am rolling to the right. So my mode two radio, I'm going to move that stick to the right. And then on the quad itself, I'm just going to make it go to the right. So I roll it over to the right side and you'll see that highlight went away. Now I'm going to do the same for Nick. I'm just going to move that stick forward. You'll see the highlight comes on. I can check the quad, tilt it forward and there we go. And then for your, that's my left stick, I'm just going to move it to the right, get the highlight, and then I'm going to twist or rotate my quad to the right. And there we go. Calibration is done. You'll see the do setup is now, says no, all done. Um, th there really isn't anything else here. You need to confirm though that you are set up for quad X, because um, the 250 is a uh, X mounted motor system, not a plus. Um, of course, you can change it to try or whatever, depending on what quad you have. But for the 250, that's what you have. Note I enabled logging. I just like to have logging enabled on my radio so you can go back and see what happened. But uh, other than that, um, no, nothing else here. This is normal mode ESC. I don't have 3D motors on here. In other words, the ESC cannot go backwards or reverse direction. Um, Multicopter yaw. I don't think I touched this at all. If your uh, quad is set up properly, you'll your propellers are properly calibra uh, calibra uh, balanced, you, you probably know, don't need to touch this. It'll work just fine. Um, in here, I uh, did uh, tweak agility and rate mode, and we'll talk about those two in, in just a little bit. But uh, between attitude mode and rate mode, you can, t you can go and, and do some mm, tweaking here if you want. Um, those are my default values at the moment. And that's it. We have done the setup on the receiver itself. We don't have to touch, touch that anymore. So we're going to go out of the settings. Um, and now we're going to go into the menu. A couple of things we're going to do here, actually more than a couple, but it's not complicated. I like using phases. You do not use to have to use phases here. Right, but I do like to go into phases because it allows me to set up voice, etc., very easily. And what I did here is I created um, a second phase. The first one was default, I renamed it to attitude, and then I added a second one. And to add a, and this is just easy, you click on that left side there and you click on plus, and it'll add another entry for you. Um, I'm not going to add another one here because it's not needed. But um, you can see that I have two phases to find. Um, the second phase is controlled by switch four. I just went and select, you can select any switch you like. I just select four because uh, that's on the right side by my switch. I like to use that one. Um, and so that is assigned on it. So now if I move switch four, you'll hear rate mode. Rate mode. 
Attitude mode. Rate mode. And that's it. So phase, phase is set up. Um, you notice I, ha I did add voice files on the right side there to tell me which mode I am. And that's why I like it. I really like to know without looking down to see which mode I'm in. Um, then we're going to go to the base menu again. And we can... Oh, I have and you, you just heard that I had set up throttle cut. It's the very first thing you really should do before you do anything else is to set up throttle cut because you don't want to inadvertently activate the motors uh, when moving or just goofing around on your uh, quad. So I just selected switch eight again on my right side. I guess I'm right hand dominate. So on my right side, um, it is a two position switch. And the nice long one on the back right and so I assigned that uh, and that'll make sure that uh, my motors don't activate when that switch is in the correct position um, and then uh, two more things we need to do here as you can see I got throttle roll neck and yaw basic setup stick one two three four I got nothing changed them they're all default all the values are straightforward negative 100 to plus 100 right there's there's no no fancy triggering no fancy there you could do it if you don't feel comfortable with stuff but honestly um with a quad this well behaved you don't need to have dual rates or anything else set up um, between uh, attitude and rate mode you're all set speaking of which um, so channel 5 controls whether you are in attitude mode or rate mode and uh, since i set up those phases I have gone and set up channel five to be phase dependent, all right? You could have used another switch. You could have used that same switch four that I set up the phase with, put it in there and just use the switch. Um, but I, I like to use the phases for a number of reasons, including the voice you just heard there. And then to do the actual setup, we will go and click on those uh, ellipses in here. I did a couple of things. Since we are, and you can see we are in attitude uh, phase at the moment, I have gone and changed my curve to a flat curve. So it's no longer a linear up-down curve, it's a flat curve. And I set the value or it kept it at zero because that'll be the default value for when you change it to flat. And for so for attitude, that's where you want it. Now note when you selected that uh, globe to be phase dependent here, any changes you make in your settings here will be assigned to that specific phase you're in. So if I change this value here now and I go to rate, you'll rate see mode. rate has a different value. So up and rate, I now have also chose a flat curve. Again, I had to go in and say flat curve because I'm in rate mode. And then I change that value to 100. Now, this value needs to be anything above 50. So for attitude, anything below 50. For rate mode, anything above 50. For me, zero and a 100 works perfectly. So um, to go between rate and attitude, attitude mode. zero, rate mode. 100. There we go. Attitude now mode. we have set up attitude and rate mode on this uh, receiver and the radio. Very easy. Nothing is. So the last thing I, I want to do, um, and this is more fun, it's not needed. Um, if you just want to start flying with the quad, you're done. Uh, but if you want to set up the auto flip, um, it can be confusing reading the manual, what it is. But again, it is actually super, super easy. All I did is I signed switch six, which is the temporary switch on the top left of the radio. So when I hold it in, it's on. And when I let go of it, it's off. Um, so switch six to channel six. And in the settings, and I apologize for this wiggly waggly here, um, you will notice that I am using a standard uh, curve on, on here, but I did go and change the top value to 120. And the reason for that is the receiver needs to see a value above 110 to engage auto flip. Actually, it needs to see two things. It needs to see you being in rate mode and that this value goes above 110. So um, channel five needs to be at 100 and channel six need to be at 110 and boom, you'll do an auto flip um, if that explains that better. And that is it, we are done. You can now go enable and go and fly the quad. It's uh, set up and ready to fly. Of course you can uh, go tuning and do and go mad with it, but I just wanted to get a quick, quick 
video, I say this is how you set this up. Hopefully that helped you. Subscribe, like, and I talk at you later.